Hi everyone. So welcome to the another video. So today in this video, we'll see how to import the hard file into as a collection to the postman. Okay, so in, in our previous video, we have seen so many uh, um, way to import the collection to the postman, right? So simply we will go to the import and where you can upload the file, which is JSON file, it could be a GraphQL or it could be anything, open API file also. So same way you can upload the folder and you can upload the link and you can use the uh, raw text which is curl and we can directly import from the uh, code repository like the github and bitpacket right so postman recently has updated um, this option where you can upload the hard file which is uh, http rk file you can directly download from the um, your, your resources and you can directly import them so this is available right from the version 9.6.0 Okay, so this will not be available less than 9.6.0. So this is a release note. They can there you can see you can now import the R files into the Postman, convert them into the collections. For example, we'll go to the Selenium website. Right, so you can go to the network tools. So in the network tools, uh, I mean dev tools under under the network, you can go for it. So make sure uh, you are. Um, Recording is on. So you are, I mean, of the server logs, everything is checked. So just click on the refresh. So now you will be getting all the network status. I mean, uh, the respective HTTP methods will go here and you will be getting the respective status, right? So just simply right click on this. You will get this option called, which is save us R with content, right? So simply click on this. So this will save you the R form. So for example, this is a Selenium website. So I will give a name as a Selenium. So this file format will be saved as a hard file. So here you can see hard file, right? So simply save it. I have saved on my desktop. So now we'll go to the postman. So we'll go to the import option. So like I said, this is available only in the 9.6.0 version. So simply you can upload that hard file here, which is I have um, exported on the my desktop, right? So this is a file name. I will simply upload this one. So now you can see this is a this is a um, website name that what we have recorded and this source is stvprk which is a hard file so import as a collection right so simply click on the import button so here it has to come it's it is successfully installed i mean imported where it is selenium yeah so here you can see selenium dev right so these are the hard i mean um, whatever we have seen on the network calls right so these are the um stpp methods so the very first one is uh, www.seleniumdev, which is a get method, right? So that is what we are seeing it here. So all the calls, what you have recorded here, I mean, stored here. So everything will be get stored as a collection here, okay? And by default, it will create a collection variable. So if you go to the collections, so, I mean, they are just storing the uh, URL for this use case. So there might be like a one or two, three. Oh, okay. So we have one to eight URL, which is I mean, just redirection, right? So here it is going to Selenium and it is going to the jQuery. That is that is because of all this content being used on the, the Selenium website, right? So for example, here you can see this is Selenium and this is going for a jQuery and there might be like a Google or something is coming. This is also Selenium. This is Selenium. Everything is Selenium. So here you can see, um, Selenium and PayPal also coming, right? So, I mean, it is being used for the different, different purpose with the different, different calls. Yeah, here you can see Google Fonts API, they are using the Google Fonts directly. So everything will come here, whatever the, you have stored as a hard file. So here you can see PayPal is coming, right? So, I mean, they are generating the URL uh, as a collection variable and they are storing in the collection variable uh, areas. So here you can see, so everything has stored in the variable. So now, I mean, uh, you can you can uh, export this hard file and you can directly run as a collection from here. So we all know how to run the collection. So you can go to collections folder and get there when you see a point button to uh, run the collection. So simply run on this, it will work fine. I mean, this is another, another import option that Postman has recently introduced from the version 9.6.0, okay. So if you are using 9.5.0, so you will not see that option, hard file, right? So this is a screenshot for 9.5.0, which I don't see the hard file, um, this option, right? So 
after this uh, the current release i mean the last release from the postman so now you can share the collections also okay so this is what we have gone through we can we can successfully uh, import the hard file into the postman that will convert as a collection right so that is what we have seen it here similarly now you can share the collection api environments directly with the team member or user group or external mail also okay so for example if you want to share this one so simply go to the share so now you can enter the name email or group name also you can give we can give the uh, access also editor or viewer everything so for example i'm just giving my name itself so this is my email id so yeah it is it got recognized right so this i have used my uh, email id let me try with my uh, name postman account name so this is my postman account name okay that is maybe some my full name i think let me try with my full name okay you can you can share with the, your email id i mean uh, maybe better with the email id that's the best option or group name also fine so that's where we can share the collection across to the i mean different team members okay so that's all about this video thanks for watching